welcome back to our class don't forget to subscribe if it is your first time to visit our channel phototropism in plants is the growth of plant in a response to light so it could be positive or it could be negative we are not talking about which part of the plant we are talking about growth of plant it could be a root it could be a shoot uh, if the, it grows towards the source of, of, of light then we say that is positively phototropic if it is growing away from the light then we say that it's negatively phototropic when the plant part grow towards the source of light it is called positive phototropism here is an example you have the source of light so the plant grows you can see it very clear that is growing towards the what the source of light so we say that this is positive phototropism and then we have we are saying that you need to note that number one auxins are growth promoters they promote growth they promote growth yeah? they increase the rate at which growth is happening number two auxins are found at the tip of the shoot you find them here at the tip of the shoot number three auxins are diffusible substances they can diffuse from one point to going downwards like this yes they can diffuse number four we are saying that auxins diffuse downwards evenly when you put a plant straight up it is gonna diffuse downwards evenly an equal proportion in equal proportion are some of the properties of these auxins and they're going to be used when you're explaining the effect of auxins on the shoot and then lastly we are saying that auxins are sensitive to light it means that they don't like light they are being destroyed by light therefore what they do they have to move away from light it's like if you don't have too much heat what you do you do you have to go to a shed you have to go to where there is a cool environment it means that you are negatively thermotropic you are negatively thermotropic you, you you don't like the what you don't like the heat so that's what happens so let's look at it in detail so now what is the effect of auxins in phototropism you see what auxins have done if you look at them this is what auxins have done if you keep on changing changing the light um then it keeps on uh, they can bend in any way you want why because it's supposed to follow the source of light so basically if you have oxygen you say that we, it's, we say the some of the properties found at the tip the fusible substances they can diffuse evenly downwards they go downwards evenly yes they are sensitive to light but because now the light is in the mirror it is um falling on the whole shoot equally then automatically it means that this shoot is supposed to grow upwards let's look at it what causes the shoot to, to bend towards the source of light or to go to the source of light so number one we're saying that shoots um auxins are found at the tip of the shoot when the shoot or stem is exposed to unilateral light that is light from a, a single direction unilateral it's one it means one eh? it means uh, one so 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 it means that when you say uni means one so it means that light coming from a single direction from one direction so what will happen now this is the shoot is coming from everywhere the light is coming from everywhere but now we want to expose it from a single direction now if you change this sun to towards a, a single direction meaning that this side will have more light this side will, will have less light so what will happen we say that auxins are sensitive to light they don't like light so they have to migrate the dark side so you see that now they have migrated from this point to this point here you see that they were distributed equally but now here they have moved a little bit from this side where the sun is and they have gone to the dark side of the shoot then you're saying that auxins move to move or diffuse to the dark side because auxins are sensitive to light this is what i've tried to explain that they move to the dark side of the shoot then um another one is saying that the auxins concentration will be high on the shaded part or the dark side so it will be very high on this side of the shade meaning that now remember we say that these auxins are um, growth promoters 
yes, they can allow growth to happen at a very fast rate. So what will happen? The, it means that this side is going to start growing faster than this side. Why? Because here we have more auxins which allow growth to happen. Yes. So we are saying now because this side is growing faster than this, then it means that this side is supposed to be elongated more. You see that it's elongating more. Now this side is going to be growing less compared to this. And then now the shoot is going to start bending. We are saying that the dark side will grow faster than the light side or the side which has um, more light. So it means that this side which has more oxygen is going to grow faster than the side which has light. And then the, 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 the stem shoot bends towards the source of, of light. So now you see that now it's growing towards the source of light. That's how these oxygens cause the bending effect towards the source of of light. So you see them that uh, it starts like this, uh, then they migrate to the dark side. The dark side will grow faster than uh, the, 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 the light side. Why? Because it has more auxins and then they should bend towards the source of light. Then now you have to know how to apply them. What about geotropism? Sometimes it's called gravitropism. Geo means L, eh? L a crust. In, in, in science, when you say geo means crust. And then gravity, it's gravity. So it, all of them, they are pulling towards this, towards the gravity. So you see that here, the, all of them, the roots are growing towards the, 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 the gravity. It is the growth of plant in response to gravity. That is, uh, it means that our stimulus this time is the gravity. Yes, so we are growing towards the gravity. When, plant, when the plant root growing down once, it is called positive geotropism. It means that it is positively geotropic. It means that it's growing towards gravity. So we are saying that you can see them here, they are growing, start like this, but they end up uh, growing down once. Not, you need to know this. Oxygen's are growth inhibitor. Oxygen's are growth inhibitor. In case of geotropism, geotropism work in opposite way phototropism works. We saw that in phototropism, auxins promote growth. It, it, it increases growth. While in geotropism, auxins or in the roots, auxins inhibit growth. You need to know that. You need to know that. You need to have a keen eye on that. Then they're saying that auxins are found at the tip of the root. It's the same as the shoot. Auxins are found at the tip of the shoot. Then auxins are diffusible substance. We know this, that they're diffusible substance. And then auxins diffuse upwards evenly. In this case, uh, for the case of the shoot, auxins diffuse downwards evenly. But for the case of the root, uh, they, they diffuse. You see they, this color is different. They diffuse evenly, upwards evenly, upwards evenly. Yes, evenly, like in equal distribution. That's the meaning of evenly. So we are saying that. What are some of the effects? What is the effect of oxygen on geotropism? So let's look at it. So we see that now oxygen are found at the tip. They can they, they diffuse upwards evenly. Everything is right. So what will happen? When the root is placed horizontally, so it means that you place it horizontally, what will happen? You see now you have placed it horizontally. Yes, the oxygen move or diffuse to a lower side due to gravity. Due to gravity, now oxygen is gonna pull them downwards, yes? So it means that the upper side is gonna have less oxygen and then the lower side is gonna have uh, more oxygen. But remember, oxygen, they inhibit growth in case of root. It, it, it slows down the growth, yes. So what will happen? It slows down. The oxygen concentration will be high on the lower side than the upper side. As you see it here, it has more oxygen while the upper side has less uh, oxygen. The lower side, yes, the lower side will grow less than the upper side because the lower side has more oxygen, yes, so, and then oxygen inhibit. Then the lower side will grow, the lower side will grow less than the upper side. Because the upper side, there is no inhibit. The upper side will grow faster than the lower side. Yes. And then the root will bend towards gravity. 
So it means that it's going to grow downwards. Why? Because the lower side is growing faster than the upper side. And then we end up having uh, the shoot bending to um, gravity. But now, sometimes we have uh, the effect of clinostat. Clinostat is, is just a small, a small machine which rotates at a very slow pace just to um, remove the effect of auxins on both roots and shit. It's a device which uses rotation to remove the effect of gravitational pull on plant growth. So uh, basically, it, it, it resolves both the root and the shit. So this is the clonostat, how it looks like is uh, put onto the plant, but it's not rotating. But when it rotates, it's gonna look like this. When it's not rotating, you see that the plant is growing upwards. But once it starts rotating, the plant is gonna grow straight without disturbance. Here you have um, the, the, the pot. You'll find out that you have a pot here. Yes, it is growing towards the source of light. There is no clonostat at all. But now, if you introduce uh, a clinostat, yes, you'll find out that this clinostat starts to rotate. When it rotates, now it means that there will be equal distribution of auxins on the, on the shoot. And then light, even if light is coming from a single direction, still the plant will grow uh, equally. Why? Because there is equal distribution of these uh, auxins. So what are some of the defense mechanisms uh, by plants? Some of the, when plants are always under constant attack, even human beings are attacking plants because they, are, they, they, they call themselves vegetarians. Yes, we are vegetarians, but we're attacking plants. Yes, so for example, like herbivores, insects, pathogens, because they are primary producers, they can be protected in many ways. Some of these ways include number one, introducing of thorns. Thorns, yes. Plants are, pr are protected against herbivores by thorns or modified branches and spines. Spines are modified leaves. Uh, they have uh, thorn-like structures. They are piercing. If you look at them, they are discouraged. They discourage animal by causing physical uh, damage on the animal. So if you look at them, eh, look at them. You can't pass here. Even if there is something which is nice this side, you cannot go and pick it. Look at a rose plant. It is. It is surrounded by thorns. Yes. You want it because it's nice. It's beautiful. You want to get get it. You have to go through thorns so that you can get it. Yes. So what they do, plants, what do plants do? They have to modify their leaves into thorns so that they can do what? They can prevent them from being attacked. Then number two is a chemical uh, mechanism. The first one is mechanical defense. So, so by thorns, number two is chemical mechanism. This is a, a primary defense mechanism. Basically, uh, they, 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 they are poison they poison herbivores and insects to protect the plants against the pathogen. This chemical compound can also affect the feeding, growth, and the survival of herbivores, insects, and pathogens. Uh, and then these chemicals include um, phenolics, terpenoids, and alkanoids, also released under attack. They are released under attack. So what they do, in most cases, if you look at this, it is looking for to eat these plants. See, these chemicals are being released. So basically, if, what these plants do, they release these chemicals so that they can kill these um, organisms or they can scare away. The, the body smell can scare them away so that they don't go and attack them. Discussion. Let's look at um, some of the questions. Uh, discussions, some of the questions. Uh, here you have a uh, plant. You don't know which is a shoot with the root, but you have to know. Diagram below shows represents a growth response to different plant organs to stand external stimulus. It means that external, outside, yes, could be light or it could be gravity because that's what we have discussed. A part A, what is, you have A, I, I think it is a light. And then this is the shoot, this is uh, gravity, and then according to the way how they act, and then this is uh, a root. So basically, name the group of plant hormones that is responsible for growth response observed, which is oxygen, oxygens. So yeah, that's the group. Then let's name the external stimulus as external stimulus at stimulus is one.
stimuli if they are many. At A, A, we say that external stimulus is light. Why? We're going to see the reason because the plant is bending towards the source of the stimulus. So it means that it is light. And then uh, D, D, it is uh, D, it is gravity. Why? Because the plant still is bending to the direction, to the direction of the what? Of the stimulus. So give one, give one observable reason why organ B is a stem. Uh, why organ B is a stem is because it's the, it's, it's, it's B is bending towards the source of stimulus A. And then you're saying that explain the growth response observed in C. So it means that here you have to explain uh, geotropism. That's what you need to explain. Just as, yeah, then be able to get the marks. Then they're saying that a diagram below represents uh, germin germinating seeds. Assume that uh, the radical premium were exposed to uniform uniform light from all directions. Uniform light from all directions. So here is the radical. Define tropism. We say that is a plant response to a stimulus. Draw, draw a label diagram to show the position of the radical and the premium uh, in the seedling after one week later. Then it means that this one is will be growing, going upwards because it is exposed to uniform light. So it's supposed to grow uh, upwards while this one is supposed to be growing downward. So we are saying that oxygen influence the growth of stems and root. State where oxygens are produced. They are produced at the tip of the shoot and tip of the root. Discover the effect of oxygens in plant stem that is exposed to unilateral light, unilateral light. So you ex explain uh, unilateral light the way we explained it, uh, phototropism. In this case, you are explaining phototropism because they're talking about light. Basically, that's it. And then we'll be seeing you again in the next class. <laughs>